All right, so we have been printing all week. So each of these takes about two and a half hours to print. And when we get it printed, then we have to try it to see if it's gonna work. So we've been printing and trying and printing and trying, and we've gone through about 10 of these models. These are all different versions of a mask. And we finally found one that we've modified enough that works. We had one that works. Um, so you can't use the printed models because they're hard. So when you put them on your face, they don't seal. <laughs> and so they don't really work as a mask because they're hard. So what we're doing is we're making them out of a soft material, and I'll show you how to do that. So you have to get this positioned. So part of the thing we had to adjust was the suck down material and the plate is only so big and so we had to adjust the back so it could lay flat we had to adjust the size so it fits on this tray and then what we do is we let this heat and soften this plastic um, mouth guard material and that's what we're going to droop over this form and that's why instead of taking two hours to make this we can make a mouth guard in about 15 or 20 minutes. So if we can get these molds into the hands of dentists, we can make a bunch of mouth guards here. Okay, so if you look at the bottom of this, you can see that the plastic is starting to droop and it has to droop about a half an inch below the, below the bottom of this tray, which is about right now. And so what we'll do is we'll flip this around and we just droop it over that until we get it all the way down. And then once we get it down, we push this vacuum and it will. So we ordered a bunch of mouth guard material, obviously in cool colors because we like tie dye at our office. Um, and we have different sizes. So this size mask fits a big face like mine. And then we have a smaller size that we can make for people with smaller faces. So I'm going to make a smaller one too, just so you can see how that fits. But the process is exactly the same. So you can see these prints. We have one for a big face and one for a small face. So I'm going to do the same thing we did before. I'm just going to do it with the small face. And because Erin likes pink, we're going to do hers in pink. One thing to remember, when you're sucking it down, push into these corners because the, the square, which is what holds the filter in that little 3d printed part needs to fit in these corners and so if the corners aren't really square it makes it really hard for that to stick and hold your filter so then we take this which is another 3d printed part so these we can print really fast so 3d printing is based on how many layers it has and because this is short we can print six or eight of these every 20 minutes 25 minutes something like that so that gets squished into the hole, and this is what holds the filter. So the filter goes there. The other thing that we're doing, you have to be able to attach it to your face. So we take like a Dremel tool, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna poke three holes in this because everybody's face is a little bit different, and we want, we want this to seal. So I've poked three holes along this edge and I'm going to poke three holes on the other side. And if you had, if you didn't have a Dremel tool, but you had like a, a leather awl or something, um, that would go through here too. You just need a big enough hole that you can thread something through it. And you want it to be on the flat part. So then when this pulls against your face, it'll seal the mask to your face. All right, so this is how you thread your mask with your, we're using elastic, but you could use a shoelace or whatever you have. 
So we poke those holes in there. If you hold it with a pair of tweezers, you just have to thread that needle. And so if you get it to where it will go through that hole and come out the other side with whatever tool you've got, you can use a pocket knife. There we go. Once you get it through, you've got a knot on the other end and you just pull it until it's tight. And then now you've got a strap. Okay, so we have two sizes that pretty much will fit anyone's face. So we have a smaller size and a larger size. Once you tie them on with the elastics, they're pretty much golden. So if we put this on, Oops, if we tie these together. You can probably hear that you can't hear me very well, and that's because we've got a nice tight seal. And so all of the oxygen that I'm getting is coming through this filter. No virus, we hope. All right, see you later.